Hello YouTube, thanks for continuing to watch. The last statement I made, this is, should be um, three. This is number three, video number three. Um, I was talking about my spiritual grandfather. This man of God, and the reason why I'm not mentioning names because I've really not gotten permission from them to mention their names. If I get permission later and if they find out about, you know, um, this and they give me the okay, then I will. Okay? Um, this man of God in which I'm talking about, I was telling, uh, saying how when I was first called to preach to the ministry, I was called in the Baptist church. And my pastor at that time told me, hey, listen. You preach the word. He trained me up. Um, he stuck his neck out there for me because being young in ministry, you say all kinds of things. <laughs> very zealous, oftentimes very inexperienced, but he never discouraged me. And to this day, still supports, and I know he prays for me. And I'm very, very, very grateful. Not just for him, for, but for the whole experience that the Baptist church afforded me. People that just truly, truly, truly loved one another. And you can say what you want to about the Baptist Church. I've got a lot of my colleagues in ministry who, uh, you know, don't feel that I should embrace that part of who I am because um, I am a uh, holiness preacher. Um, but I went to a Baptist Church, and in the Baptist Church, I lived holy to the best of my ability. Um, I did speak in tongues in the Baptist Church. They didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know I did, but I did. And I had some very valid and authentic experiences with the Lord in the Baptist church. And so, if you go to my other channel, Prophet is Stacy, you know, YouTube.com and then the slash, then Prophet is Stacy. I'll try to post a link. What I started to do is I started to post videos of old footage. Um, I've got the opportunity. Um, the privilege of having a father who like videotapes everything, <laughs> even though he cuts stuff off. Sometimes I love you, Dad, and sometimes um, he cuts off the heads of people. <laughs> you know those homemade videos. <laughs> Dad, I love you. I promise. Um, some of my tapes, unfortunately, were destroyed in Hurricane Katrina, and I, woo, I'm very, very, very sorry. That that is lost. And if any of you all, you know, who, who have, if y'all have tapes out there, and you can let me have a copy of the way we used to do church, please rush them to me. Because I just, that's the stuff that really gives me strength. That they, those are the things that I cherish now. That I've got to go through my own process and my own journey. Those are the things that I really just... I've got, I've got to look at these things and say, my God, look at the strength, look at the character, look at the fortitude, look at the tenacity, look at the zeal it took for people to do that. And so I'm glad, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that Martin Luther King Jr. did not wait until he was 65 years old to say and do something significant. I feel such an urgency in the spirit. Um... Many of you all who are used to me just poking fun and just like talking and just, you know, these videos are probably a little bit different, but it's also a part of who I am as well. Prophetically right now in this hour, I feel like I am literally positioned to stand in the gap, to even bridge the gap of the generations. It's a huge responsibility because I've got to talk to a people that are too young to really be able to appreciate what has been done. And then I've got to talk to a people who are older and who don't feel as though they've got to relate because they've basically paid their dues and done their work. And so we kind of fall in the middle, you know. I guess it's also having to do with my physical age, the fact that I'm leaving the young and you know, because when you're young, you're able to make certain mistakes and people say, oh, bless their heart, they're just young. But now that I'm entering into some real stuff um, and maturing, even naturally as I've matured spiritually, it's almost like I'm in a, a paradigm shift 
We are, as the body of Christ, we are in the paradigm shift because we've literally seen the church shift from one place to the next. Does that make sense to anybody? So we've seen um, the old school church being done. Many of us reared by that. Thank God for it. Um, and then there are those who were not born and raised in the church who don't understand. And so, whew, it's quite an op it's quite a job. It's quite a task, but today I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for all of you all who post videos on YouTube. Man, the Clark sisters. I'm talking about back in the day. You know, the things that I listen to on YouTube are like stuff that are way older than me. Like the Mahalia Jackson footage and the Maddie Moss Clark footage. And the footage, just recently someone posted footage of James Cleveland's funeral. Priceless. You can't, cannot get that kind of stuff. I mean, it's awesome. Even, even, even the um, the Church of God in Christ footage from back in the day. Hey, gotta give a shout out to the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. I was a part of that. Um, and I, I, the the footage is priceless of Bishop Wagner and Bishop Locke, Iona Locke, and uh, God, let's see who else. The old school stuff of Sean Pace and Bruce Parham, and oh, God, the list is just. It's just long, and it's just wonderfully long, and I'm just so grateful that when I'm, when I'm having these reflective moments, I can just kind of sit back, and with the innovation, innovations of, of technology, I can just capture and experience that moment that was way before my time. And so who knows, maybe someone else is going to be watching me. <laughs> who knows? I want to say to all of you all who 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 do the vlog, the vlogs, however you say it, um, don't take for granted the audience that God is affording you to have, to impact, to say something that would provoke and encourage thought in the lives of people. Don't take the moments for granted when people are emailing and people are commenting and people are offering a different perspective, maybe one that you've never even experienced. Please don't take it for granted. I know that this is a virtual type of world, but it's also a real world. This One thing about YouTube is this, and that it's, it's merging um, virtual reality with actual reality. It has its risks. Believe me, I've thought about all the pros and cons of actually being this transparent and this and just this real um but it's a risk that I'm willing to take because somebody needs to know somebody needs to hear I'll be back